Okay, my favorite swim jig is the Mobster swim jig. Today I wanna go over three of the most effective ways to fish a swim jig. The first one, and everybody knows it as, by different names. Some people call it the Alabama shake. I, I just call it shaking the swim jig. So basically what you're doing is you're targeting all visible cover. Uh, could be gator grass, blowdowns, stick ups, anything that you can see you're gonna fish this swim jig around. I'll make my cast to any visible target I can see. And as soon as the swim jig hits the water, I start shaking the rod tip and reeling it in as I'm shaking the rod tip. Now, the cool thing about this technique is I can adjust my speeds with the reel as if I wanna make it go faster, I reel faster. If I wanna slow it down, I slow it down. This is an insanely effective technique fishing shallow cover. The cool thing about this technique is I can also use what I call I put a float in there, I call it a float. And what I'll do is instead of throwing the half ounce swim jig, I'll throw a 5 16 with a little larger trailer. And when I come to an open pocket in the grass, I'll slow it way down and just let that swim jig kind of float through there and then speed it up again once I hit the grass. The next technique, and this is even crazier, it's just speed railing. Basically, you throw it out to your target and you just reel it back in. It's a way to get very aggressive bites. When the fish are really active, you can cover tons of water. The mobster skips a mile. So if you're fishing boat docks, you can skip it under the boat docks, speed reel it out. Um, that's the next technique. Now, probably one of my favorite techniques that a lot of people really don't talk about, or I don't wanna say they don't know about it, but it might not be relevant in their neck of the woods. But up north where I live, I love to slow roll the mobster swim jig late fall, early winter, same time that I would utilize a flash mob junior. But this is a fantastic wintertime technique with a swim jig. This time of year, I usually use a swim bait trailer. Now, if the fish are deeper, go to the half ounce. If the fish are higher in the water column, go to the 5 16 ounce. Don't make it complicated, it doesn't have to be. With these three techniques, the shaking technique, the speed retrieve, and the slow roll, this is all you need to have great swim jig success. If you like what you see here, hit like, make a comment, subscribe, so you don't miss a video.